this is quite a nice workflow if you are facing Topcon machine control for the first time and aren't familiar with getting data ready to put in um, Topcon's older 3DMC system. It seems to be still a very popular um, system out there and more and more people are expected to just know how to get data converted and ready for it. This software that I'm using called 3D Office, I have downloaded for free off the internet. There are paid versions out there, but if you have a sensible look or a safe website for Topcon 3D Office, you should be able to, to download this for free. Now, my problem is I have a bulldozer on site. Someone has given me an AutoCAD file. The file doesn't have a triangulation and it isn't converted for Topcon. So the first thing I'm going to do is say file, open AutoCAD drawing file, and then bring in the file that I've been given. Now I must say, when you're using this software, the AutoCAD file must be saved as like AutoCAD 2002 or AutoCAD 2004, DXF or DWG, newer versions like a, a 2018 drone wouldn't work in this in this older version of software you potentially may be downloading for free. But I have my, my line drawing now imported. Um, first things first, before I start working on it anymore, I want to go into Project, Options, and make sure that I have the correct options for my, my working area. So I think the default is survey feet and um, northeast elevation. In the UK, I'm always going to change that to meters. Um, East-north elevation, and if you want to look at your areas or grades, but probably won't matter much for, for what we're doing. So AutoCAD file imported, go into line work and select all the line work. Once the line work is selected, you want to go into tin. Now Topcon are referring to a model as a tin, a tin surface. It's the same as a triangulation or a DTM. It's a, a model for, um, for levels. So click on tin, and we're going to generate a new tin surface from the line work we have just selected. And now we have triangulations. So without the triangulation, the dozer excavator when it's in these areas wouldn't have any heights, but by generating the triangulation, it gives it cut fill anywhere it goes. Now it's important to understand we haven't, I haven't spent a lot of time exploring this job. I know it's relatively flat. Usually if you've got a more complex job, someone with much more knowledge in creating models would be better at, in this situation, uh, making sure that the job levels are actually being interpolated as they should be. But I can now delete these ones overhanging simply using the, the left mouse button, highlight them, hit delete, get rid of the, the sort of unnecessary, unnecessary triangles. But I now have a file that I can import to machine control that will get the dozer working. If I'm being left to do it and it's very relatively flat levels, it's definitely going to eliminate some downtime and get a start. I can go into tin and then turn tin surfaces and give this surface a name. So you'll see it's just called Tuesday, August the 30th. If we go in here, call it, call it whatever I want. I can then say tin export. Um, I deselected that there. I can say tin export current tin surface either to an AutoCAD file or to a TN3 file, which is a Topcon model, or I can just go to file, save as, and give it a name. So I'm going to call this Alan's Topcon Demo New because I think I've got another one from earlier on. So save that onto my USB stick. Put my USB stick into the machine control panel. Go to my main option, File, Projects, and Copy. 
I want to copy from D drive, the D drive being my USB stick, and it will read everything on there. So Alan's top on demo new. Hit OK. Highlight the press OK. I then want to go to File and Surfaces to make sure that my surface has came in OK, which it has. Regrade Alan. OK. But notice I still can't see it. But no panic. Something that's catching my eye is this no GPS localization. So there's one of two things happening here, potentially two of two things. First thing to do, once you have made sure your surface is imported, you actually need to go to active, then surface, and tell it you want it to be the active surface. Once you've done that, and you're still getting GPS localization or any GPS error, the likelihood is that the coordinate system is a mismatch. So if you go into File and then Control, being where we control the coordinate system, if you see numbers in here, it means that it's a local coordinate system. It's reading from maybe a previous job someone's imported from a previous life. Your first step should be, if on a national grid, is to be go to Projection, page 3, and choose your desired country. I'm going to go UK, which is always in Europe, down the bottom to UKO. If my simulator was up to date, I would be choosing OSTN 15. I'm going to work with OSTN 02 for the purpose of this video. Once I've selected that, you'll see it's still reading no GPS localization. If I go file again and then back into control, the likelihood is if I go into page two, it's still trying to read this localization. So I just want to tell the system you're now on a known projection. In here, I've chosen OSTN02. It reads the datum. If you're using a geoid, you want to click geoid and choose your geoid that's in there. My simulator doesn't house one. But hit OK, and straight away you're seeing it's now telling me I'm on level. If I zoom out, you can see my line drawing. Good to go. This right arrow here will take you through different views. A lot of time when you import drawings into this software, it comes in like this with all these triangles, which can be quite an eyesore for an operator. So it's nice to familiarize yourself with the view options, going into view, display options, working surface. And then here you can turn your triangle mesh off much cleaner. Also, when you're in that view screen, if you want more information on your main screen, you can say view main window, which is what we're looking at. I've got my plan, but maybe on the left window, you want a grade indicator. And then maybe down the bottom, you might want a profile. So you can have lots going on this page at the same time if you want. In tools here, some nice things to explore are position check and topo survey. Topo survey meaning if you're pushing muck, you can get the dozer to automatically record the blade. Um, I'll show you. So position check, you've got an easting, northing, and elevation from anywhere on your blade left, middle, or right of blade. So that's good for verification checks. You can take your blade to a known point and check that all the, the GNSS is, is working correctly. But you can also survey with this kit. So when I hit measure, it's going to take a, a measurement of the left side of my blade and save me the coordinate of it. So when you're pushing muck, it would be really nice to go to topo survey, say record the middle of my blade, but a fixed time interval. So every, let's say, 15 seconds is going to do that measurement I just took automatically. So at the end of the day, the engineer can export all those measurements and do a volume calculation of it. If you're working with line work, like I am here, I can hold my finger down on the screen and I've got lots of other tools that I can use. 
So this polyline, I can say steer to it, and then hold my finger down again and press display text and tell me what my offset is to the, to the line. So I know that I'm 2.2 meters off the line. If I drive to it and I need to work to the line for whatever reason, a real nice way that I can keep an eye on, on where I am. The reason it's telling me I'm still 1.539 off it, you'll see I've got a red triangle on the left hand side of my blade. So it's actually referencing here. So if I wanted to work to the center of my blade, I would just hold the screen down and say hit move center point to mid. So now I know I'm only 16 mil off the line. If I needed to offset this line for a shoulder or whatever it may be, I can say polyline steer to offset and give me a line maybe two and a half meters off it. Then I can start doing line offsets for whatever reason that may be. So there's quite a lot to explore just by holding your finger down on the line. If I then wanted to delete that text, I would just untick it and it disappears. But nice workflow, taking some data that's not ready for TopCon machine control, using free software and getting it in there ready to work.